Hi everyone, Uri here from House. In this video, we'll see how to connect House Pro with QuickBooks Online. First, go to your QuickBooks integration page, and then you will see four steps required to connect House Pro to QuickBooks Online. Step 1. Setting up your tax agency. To set up your tax agency, either click the Set up tax agency button in the integration screen, or go to QuickBooks and Taxes tab. There, you will see the option to set up a new tax agency. Enter your business address and click Next. Now QuickBooks will show you the option if you want to collect tax outside the state that you specified in the previous screen. If not, click Next. And you're done. Just don't create click invoice yet. Click the X button there and choose your filing frequency, either monthly, quarterly, or yearly. Click Save, and that's it. You should be able to view your taxes here. Step 2. Turning off automations. In the QuickBooks integration page, click Manage Automations, or go to QuickBooks and click on the Settings tab. There, select Account and Settings, and Advanced. Here, under Automations, you will see several switches. Turn all of them off and click Save. Step 3. Turning on Purchase Orders. In the Integration page, click Turn On or go to QuickBooks and click the Settings tab. There, under Account and Settings, go to Expenses. Here, you will see a section called Purchase Orders make sure that this section is turned to on. If you keep the switch off, bills will still sync over to QuickBooks, but purchase orders will not. Step 4. Connecting to QuickBooks Online. In the QuickBooks integration page, click Connect. If you've done stages 1 to 3, click Connect to QuickBooks. Here, if you are not logged into QuickBooks, you will need to sign in. This account is signed into QuickBooks. Now, click Connect to authorize House to integrate with QuickBooks. And now we can see all the documents that can be synced over to QuickBooks Online. Click Sync if you wish to sync them over. This action takes a little bit of time, so I'm fast forwarding this one. Now that the document sync is done, I can see that all of my documents have been synced over correctly to QuickBooks. Viewing them on QuickBooks, I'm going to go to the Invoicing and click All Sales. Here I can see all of my payments, finalized estimates, and finalized invoices. In the Settings tab, you can customize your default income from materials account and your default income from services account. In the Connection tab, you can disconnect and see which account is logged into QuickBooks with House Pro. Syncing Documents Syncing documents happens without any action on your part. When a document is finalized, then it's synced over to QuickBooks. Here, I'm creating a new estimate from a template, and I'm going to approve it like my customer would usually do. Once my estimate becomes read-only, that means it has been approved by my client, then it's synced over to QuickBooks. I can see here that I have a very long estimate. I'm just checking that I have the correct tax rate that I want on this estimate, and I'm setting a couple of items here to be taxable. Now that I've finished configuring my estimate, I'm going to click Approve. Scrolling up, I can see that the status of my estimate has changed from draft to approved. And what happens now is that it's automatically synced over to QuickBooks. I don't need to do anything. Viewing it in QuickBooks, I can go to invoicing and send it all sales. And here I can find my estimate. I can check that it's the correct amount. And viewing in, I can see all of my line items here. Again. Estimates sync over automatically once they're approved. Draft estimates will not sync over. Once my estimate is ready to become an invoice, 
I'm going to click Create Invoice. The same rule applies with invoices. A draft invoice, one that hasn't been produced yet, will not sync over to QuickBooks in order not to clutter all of my accounting information. Once I'm ready and my invoice has been sent to my client, it automatically syncs over to QuickBooks. Here, I'm going to preview and share this invoice. And I'm going to send it to one of my clients. Once I click Confirm and Send, the invoice will be produced and automatically syncs over to QuickBooks. This process might take a little bit of time, so if you don't see your invoice exactly at the same time in QuickBooks, try and refresh a few minutes later. Here I can see that my invoice has already been synced to QuickBooks Online, and I can view all the line items for it. So one last piece of the puzzle is receiving payments. Here I'm going to show you how to list a payment manually. So suppose I have this uh, payment and I decide to split it into two different payments and I've received a check for the first one. In House Pro, I'm entering all the details for my check. And once that's saved, again, I don't need to do anything. It automatically syncs over to QuickBooks. Going over to QuickBooks, I can see that once I refresh the page, I can see my payment here, and I can see that the balance for my invoice has changed. Going into the invoice, I can see that there's an applied payment for this invoice. So that's that. Everything syncs over automatically. If you have any questions at all, please let us know. We're always happy to help.